Hi, in part four of all the videos on transfer functions, I introduce you to the order differential equation for the RC circuit given here. RC circuit, also known as resistor capacitor circuit, and this is a type of low pass filter. And you can see here the circuit diagram here with the resistor and capacitor. So the task was from part four or four was to effectively convert this into transfer function form. So undertake the Laplace transformation, then algebraic manipulate it into transfer function form. So what I'm going to do for the RC circuit is I'm going to go through the two steps that are, able, that are used to undertake this process. So stage one, which is the Laplace transformation, and details of this transformation are given in part two or four on the videos on transfer functions. The equation for this particular order differential equation, because it's first order, so we're just going to use equation 2, 2 from part 2 or 4. It's given by this. So this Laplace transformation, so this symbol here, a dy of t over dt effectively becomes s or is equal to s, which is your Laplace variable, capital y of s. Because d by dt effectively become s and y of t become capital y of s. So what we do looking at this equation here is we need to first of all, because y of t here is the output, in terms of the... The, the RC circuit, the output here is the notation slightly different, it's not Y of T, it's V subscript out of T. So that there is, is, is all D by DT and V out subscript T, yep. so this here effectively becomes, as you can see here, it becomes, um, because we've got the coefficient here, RC, so RC remains here, D by DT becomes S here, and V out of T becomes V out of S. Okay, and in this case, V in of T just becomes V in of S. Okay, because the T's effectively we just move from the time domain to the frequency domain. And then here, V out of S <coughs> becomes V out of S because it was originally V out of T. What you'll notice is that here we've got common um, V subscript out, so voltage out, and here voltage out. So what we can do is, because it's common for this RCS, and it's also, well, yeah, it's common for that. So what we can do is move um, this uh, voltage out, outside the brackets, and then put brackets here, RCS, so the plus variable, plus one. Okay, and that's obviously there is equivalent to that. So you'll see the process is quite similar, or well, very similar, to the process that we followed in part two or four. The only real variation is the notation I'm using, and that's something you've got to become aware of when you're looking at a system, is the inputs and outputs and the system variables. So that's stage one. We're now in the Laplace domains, the complex frequency domain. What this enables us to do then is now to move on to the next stage, which is stage two, which is to rearrange this, because Laplace transformation, it enables us to use formal rules of algebra to effectively algebra and manipulate the equation to get the transfer function. So what we want to do is effectively just cross multiply by initially is cross multiply this equation by one over RCS plus one to so this equation here. And then what we'll end up with is um, effectively, although I've just moved V out to the other side, we'll end up with V out over V in over RCS plus one to so this equation here. And then, because obviously what we want is we want it in the form of the equation. If you remember the form of the transfer function, equation 2, 5. So if you're unfamiliar with that, look at part 3 of 4 and transfer functions. And you remember the form of the transfer function was just output over input. So what we've got here is output. So what we need to do is just divide this equation to effect by one over both sides by 1 over V in to effectively just then have output over input relationship. So cross multiply both sides by that. And then what we end up with there is this equation here. So V out over V in, which is equal to 1 over RCS plus 1. And that there is our transfer function equivalent in the complex frequency domain of the audio differential equation. What I've used the notation here is because the general notation we use for transfer function for a system is normally like G or, subscript, or G subscript A for actuator, G subscript P for the process. I've used H subscript S here because... Low pass filter, it's ten, it tends to be used um, as part of a control system to filter noisy signals. So I've used 
H of S, which is effectively the notation I'm going to use for sensors because the RC circuit could be part of the filtering of the sensors. Then finally, what you'll see here is in the block diagram form. So one of the big, re the big kind of the reasons why we move from the audio differential equations to transfer function form is because we represent components or subcomponents of a closed loop control system as transfer functions, which effectively enables us to look at the input or model the inputs and the outputs in, in this manner. So you see, obviously, the input is V in, the voltage in, the output is voltage out. And then you'll see here the form of the system here with the RC circuit. Um, so I hope this video has been useful. If you've got any questions, please feel free to contact me and ask away. Thank you.